guys, Brian with Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. No, you are not seeing double. This is another 10 Michael Jordan PSA 10 insert cards under $1,000. So you may have seen a recently released video of 10 Michael Jordan PSA 10 insert cards under 500. These are gonna be cards that are between that 500 and $1,000 threshold based on their last sale as derived from our good folks at Card Lata card ladder in their uh, data research. So without any delay, let's get going here. Again, I just want to reiterate um, that I am including subset cards, which are cards that might be included on the base checklist from a numerical standpoint, but they are often referred to by their, you know, uh, name of familiarity, like, uh, you know, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about as we get going. So these may not be true inserted cards with pack odds and whatnot they may be cards that are included in the base checklist but they will stand out based on their name and their appearance and uh, we like to call those cards subset cards and so this will also include certain subset cards as well as true inserts so without any delay let's get going i have one honorable mention card i, I ended up with 11 cards under a thousand dollars right now as far as fair market value and i could not leave this card out because it's one of my favorites i'm happy to own the card as well and it is the 1996 season's best often referred to as sticky fingers number 18 a really good looking card it's got kind of a chromium uh, almost like a prism feel to it and it is uh it is a pop 187 card the last one sold for 569 dollars and the highest sale was more than double that at 1255 and like i mentioned on the prior video these cards, you'll notice the disparity between the current value and the highest ever sold price is going to be disparate. It's going to be large. It's going to be noticeable. It's going to be uh, a many, oftentimes many factors, multiples greater uh, when you compare higher sale to the current value. And for that reason, I really thought this was a good time to show this video because you can pick up a lot of these cards, not all as we're going to see in a second, but many of these cards for much below where they peaked in that first quarter 2021 push that we saw in the hobby. So it might be a time to position yourself into some of these Jordan PSA 10 inserts if you're into collecting PSA 10s, um, you know, at the current moment. So let's get going with our top 10. Card number 10 on our list, as you can see on the screen, is the 1997 Hoops Frequent Flyer Club number four. This is a Pop 99 card. It is last sold for $660. The highest it's ever sold for is $1,000. It is die cut. It's almost in the shape of a credit card. There is a uh, High Flyers uh, upgrade parallel version of this insert, but this is just the base insert version, the Frequent Flyer Club. And uh, still under Pop 100 and PSA 10, so there's not tons of them out there. And uh, this card last sold for $660. Card number nine on our list, the 1994 Emotion Intense number three. The card has that gold appearance, which makes it super popular, even amongst ultra modern Prism Panini era collectors. When they go back, this is the card that stands out. As you can see, this is going to be a much higher pop than most of the cards that we're going to see on this list. And uh, for the fact that it sells for $710 with a highest sale of $1,560 would lead one to believe that the aesthetics and the appeal of the card appearance itself is enough to overcome that relatively high population number when uh, when we're talking about Jordan inserts and subset cards from the 90s in PSA 10 condition. So despite the 380 pop, uh, the card still sells for uh, nearly a thousand bucks, $710 last sale and 1560 highest sale ever. Card number eight on our list is the 1998 Fleer Vintage 61 number 23. If you're not a vintage collector, you may not know that these cards are produced in order to resemble the appearance of the famous 1961 Fleer set that features so many amazing rookie cards, including that of Wilt Chamberlain. Uh, but this is a Pop 54 card. There is another parallel version of this card that is serial numbered that refracts, and it is an extremely valuable card that you will not find anywhere on this list below $1,000 in PSA 10 condition. This is just the base Fleer Vintage 61 card. It is a Pop 54. It's a $683 card last sold. And the highest this card's ever achieved is a $1,725 sale. Number seven on our list 
is the 1997 Ultra Star Power number one. There is a three card set for these inserts. There's the Star Power, there's the Star Power Plus, then there is the die cut Star Power Supreme, which is extremely low pop and very difficult to find in PSA 10 condition with incredibly difficult pack odds. This Ultra Star Power base insert number one has a pop of still below 100, only 96. It last sold for $725, and the highest sale this card has ever achieved is $1,000. $225. Card number six on our list is the 1993 Ultra Inside Outside number four. Probably one of the highest printed cards uh, from this list that we're looking at today. Not in a super rare subset card at all, but it only has a pop 41 due to condition sensitivity issues in the dark corners and edges on the front and the back. This is only a pop 41 card, a very cheap card to pick up raw, very difficult to find in PSA 10 condition for the great snobs out there such as myself. The card is a $731 card based on its last sale. The highest sale this card's ever achieved is $925, so really not too far off from the all-time record sale of this card, uh, currently sitting at about $731 for this one. Card number five on our list. The 1992 Upper Deck Award winner Hologram number AW1. Again, really, uh, really beautiful card. Uh, was certainly ahead of its time when released. The entire front of the card is a hologram. The images change when you tilt the card and sway the card. This card is not expensive. Again, just like the inside outside, not an expensive card, not a rare card. But in PSA 10 condition, it is extremely rare. With only 38 existing out there in PSA 10 condition, the card last sold for $700. The highest this sale this card has ever sold for is $700. So the last sale was the highest ever. So this card certainly bucks the trend of the recent market decline over the last 60 to 90 days. And uh, this card is a is a whopper. Good luck finding this card in PSA 10 condition. I don't advise you to buy a bunch of raw and throw them at PSA hoping to get a 10 because in my experience, you may not be happy with the results. Card number four on our list, the 1995 Skybox Premium Electrified, card number 278. This is a great example of a subset card that just gives you the feel of an insert card, right? You can look at this card and tell right away uh, the card is not your typical base card, and that's why we call these subset cards. They're known by a particular name. This one is known as Electrified, right? That's what we call this card if we see it. We don't say Skybox Premium number 278 like we would for a base card. Uh, one of many Jordan cards featuring lightning in the background. There's a few of them. Obviously, Scoring Kings probably comes to mind first. Electrifying is another card, uh, not to be confused with this Electrified. Uh, but many Jordan cards feature lightning in the background, which is really, really cool. This card's only a Pop 82, very condition sensitive card. Easy card to come across in raw condition or lower grades, very difficult to find in PSA 10 gem mint condition. The card last sold for $720, and look at that whale of a highest sale of $1,750. I think maybe the buyer had it confused with electrifying. Uh, just kidding. Next on our list, we're in the top three. Again, I'm not sorting these in order and telling you go buy one before you buy two or three. They're not in any particular order. They are ascending, you know, approximately in ascending value order. Uh, but again, I'm not uh, professing that any one of these cards is a great investment or any, of the, any one of these 10 cards or 11 cards that we're showing today is any better investment than any of the other ones. I'm simply putting them out there because I like looking at beautiful Jordan cards. I get the vibe that many of you watching the channel do as well, and therefore, I did not call this a top 10 Michael Jordan list. It is just 10 Michael Jordan cards under $1,000 in PSA 10 condition. 1997 Ultra, Ultra Abilities Starter. This is card number one. There are other cards in this, uh, in this insert set just like there was with the star power uh, this card in starter condition uh, the starter version of this card as you can see on your screen is a pop 26 that's a paltry pop number there fellas uh, 812 was the last sold value the highest this card ever got is one thousand dollars that's pretty low uh, by jordan standards for a card that's a pop 26 from a recognizable product like 97 ultra 
Card number two on our list, down to the last two. Uh, one of my personal favorites. I have stacked many copies of this card. It is very difficult to find a really good picture of this card, similar to the Scoring Kings. It's just hard to find a good picture. Uh, so I actually had to steal this picture from my vault. So this is my particular 1995 Metal Slick Silver PSA 10. As I mentioned, I have four or five of these um, last time I checked. It's a Pop 226 card, so also uh, just like the Emotion Intense card we looked at earlier, not the rarest card in PSA 10 condition. The card actually grades well. The biggest consideration when trying to grade this card would be the yellowing of the surface. For those of you not familiar with the card, it is kind of an acetate see-through where you can see through the card uh, if you put your hand behind it. Pictures of this card are difficult to take in high quality condition, but this is a great one in my opinion. Um, you know, I think again, the aesthetics and the, just the appeal and the overall appearance of the, of the card creates so much demand that it sort of outweighs the relatively high supply of this card by Jordan PSA 10 insert standards. The last sold, uh, sold number on this card is 810. The highest this card's ever sold is 1,410. And on to number one, the last and final card on our list, the 1997 Skybox Z Force Slam Cam number five. This is a Pop 85 card, also difficult to grade because of the dark edges and corners. It's a $960 card, and this card has achieved uh, over $2,100, or at $2,100 on the highest sale ever. Uh, that is card number one on our list, another one of the horizontal Jordan inserts that are out there, along with Dynamic Dunks and a couple of others that we've looked at. Uh, but that is it, guys, for our list today. Just 10 Jordan cards I thought you guys would enjoy looking at and looking at what the current value is. You know, they're under $1,000, so we've done another video on under $500, so depending on your budget, just trying to throw some pictures and put some numbers together for some cards that are out there for you guys to peruse and consider. I Again, I am not giving investment advice. I'm not encouraging anybody to go out there and buy any of these cards. I do own a number of these cards in PSA 10 or BGS 9.5 condition. Uh, some of them I'm looking at. Uh, collecting multiple copies because I think it's a great buying window for me personally and uh, that's my prerogative about where I put my money again I'm not out here telling you to go buy these cards and I'm certainly not listing them in order of which are the best or worst investments I just wanted to give you guys some options for those people I'm always trying to help people get educated on potentially entering the Jordan market so this type of video may appeal more to the people who aren't quite in or are just now dipping their toe in at a low budget level just want to put something out there because so many of the Jordan inserts that we see are just you know staggering grail type six figure five figure even you know high four figure cards that a lot of the collectors in the hobby can't afford or are not interested in uh, in investing in or collecting and so uh, this is a, a nice affordable uh, two-part video series just showing you that you can get into the Jordan market and you can buy the best Jim Mint PSA copies out there for a reasonable number on certain Jordan cards if you do the research and you take advantage of the little price dip that we've experienced lately. So what are some other cards that you guys know about that are PSA 10 subset or insert cards that are under $1,000 that I did not show in this video today? Let us know in the comments. I'm sure everybody watching will be interested in hearing what you have to say as a viewer and a subscriber and a Jordan collector. And if you've got some ideas, put them in the comments and then maybe the other viewers can read the comments and go find those cards on Card Ladder or whatever their data pricing tool of choice is and invest or collect those cards as well or at least consider them thanks again guys for watching keep collecting stay positive in the hobby click one of these videos on the end screen i promise you there's a lot of michael jordan uh, content coming so if you like michael jordan collecting and you like michael jordan cards or you're just like michael jordan and you don't collect cards you could still probably derive a great deal of entertainment from some of the videos that i have coming out in the next two or three weeks so anyway thank you guys for watching keep collecting stay positive in the hobby and peace